Hey Miami Lakers and welcome to our daily COVID-19 update here in the town of Miami Lakes and I'm joined by our town manager Edward Peterman. Bienvenido reciente aquí en la ciudad de Miami Lakes. Eh, tenemos hoy el update del día del de coronavirus. Eh, estoy aquí con nuestro administrador, el señor Ed Peterman. Estamos aquí en vivo desde el parque Royal Lakes Park que está abierto hace miércoles pasado. Es uno de los parques más grandes aquí en nuestra comunidad. Y we're, we're standing here at Royal Oaks Park. We're coming live to you from one of our largest parks here in our community. And it's really nice to see uh, residents utilizing the park, wearing the proper PPE, and doing what's right. Uh, Mr. Manager, what's your update for today? Yeah, I hope everybody had a great weekend. If you're boaters, I hope you had a chance to get out there and uh, and get on your boat again. Those of you who uh, like to enjoy the parks, as the mayor said, the parks have been reopened uh, since next last Wednesday. Miami Lakes Optimist Park, uh, Royal Oaks Park, and Picnic Park, Park West, those are the three that have been open for passive activities, for walking, for uh, jogging, those kind of things. Uh, I wanted to let everybody know that in addition to the weekend being a great time, so hopefully many of you were able to get out and do some recreation. It was also a great uh, weekend for number of positive cases. Once again, we went the entire weekend without a single new positive case. So we have gone 10 straight days without a new case. And again, only two in the last 17 days. So uh, two and a half weeks, we've only had two new cases. Uh, Quería decirle a todo el mundo que en los últimos 10 días no hemos tenido un caso nuevo. Eh, pasamos el fin de semana entero y no hubo ni un caso nuevo. Solamente han habido dos casos en los últimos uh, 17 días. So, dos semanas y media, solamente dos casos nuevos. Eh, so, quería recordarles que ahora los parques volvieron a una reapertura de los parques limitada eh, para uh, actividades pasivas, casual, eh, el parque de Royal Oaks, el parque de Miami Lakes Optimus Park en la 67 y el Picnic Park West, el parque eh, ahí en la 82 avenida, todos esos tres parques están abiertos, eh, la gente está disfrutando del parque, so, si a usted le gusta caminar o, hacer, uh, o correr, están abiertos para que ustedes residentes de Miami Lakes puedan disfrutar de los parques otra vez. So if you have any questions, you know, start submitting those now. I know uh, I, I've, I've gotten a lot of questions the past several days. If you have a question, por favor, empieza poniéndolo en la, la sección de los comentarios en el Facebook Live. Uh, but I do know there's a lot of folks who've asked about testing. I know there's more testing sites opening up, but more importantly, there's more capacity in, uh, in these testing sites. And many of them, uh, you could be asymptomatic and just get tested. Uh, which is which is important. You're starting to see the testing rate uh, really go up in our in our county, which is very very powerful. Uh, one of the one of the highest percentage rates per per thousand residents uh, is one of the highest rates in the U.S. Actually, uh, higher than, than a lot of countries like Germany and stuff like that. I saw some of the rates not too long ago. Another good measure is, uh, and I talk to the manager about this all the time, is hospitalizations. Uh, our hospitals still have major capacities capacity some of them actually have more capacity uh than they did pre-covid 19 uh, which is so 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 important uh and especially the testing to reopening our economy uh, this morning uh cities throughout florida outside of broward miami dade and palm beach uh, started opening up a lot of their businesses restaurants and whatnot uh different types of businesses that started opening up that were uh, deemed non-essential to begin with you have large cities like Orlando, Jacksonville, Tampa, Tallahassee uh, that reopened up today under the uh, under the, the orders of uh, Governor DeSantis uh, allowing that. So we hope to see that happen here in Dade County, hopefully soon, because I know in our region, in Northwest Dade, uh, we have some of the highest unemployment uh, rates in the entire nation. I mean, uh, and that's due to, to the coronavirus, which is something we have to help uh, people, which is so, so, so important. Uh, I do have I have the first question. Where are the asymptomatic testing sites? I think a lot of them have already. I don't know if you want to. Ask the, uh, for sure, I know that the Dolphin Stadium, the football stadium, that one, you do not have to have symptoms to uh, to be tested. So that one for sure, and it's close by. It's one of the closer ones. That one, you do not have to have symptoms to be tested at the uh, football stadium. So you you heard at Dolphin Stadium, which is right down the street from here. 
uh, very accessible from the town of Miami Lakes. You don't have to have uh, any symptoms. There's no age restriction uh, and you can get tested. I know there was a report from this weekend uh, that there were some of the testing sites where there wasn't much activity. Uh, and it's important that we continue getting tested, but it is becoming more and more, uh, uh, testing is becoming more and more accessible, which is so, so, so important. El reciente aquí de nuestra comunidad, todavía el administrador, yo y el consejo, todo el mundo estamos trabajando para reabrir la economía. Eh, una cosa le pedimos al gobernador y al, y al, al alcalde de condado, yo sé que el alcalde de condado lo, lo ha dicho a los otros, que tiene un grupo, nosotros sabemos que tiene unos grupos trabajando para reabrir la economía, que están, eh, hay doctores eh, y expertos de, de las enfermedades infecciosas que están mirando a las recomendaciones para que ya pueden eh, reabrir. Hoy, esta mañana, se reabrió mucho del estado de la Florida, eh, como ciudades como Jacksonville, Tampa, uh, Tallahassee, eh, Orlando, hoy mismo eh, muchos de, de, de los diferentes negocios que originalmente dijeron que no son, no son esenciales, reabrieron hoy, que es una, un, algo muy, muy importante. La región de los otros, eh, que es el noroeste de condado, Hialeah, Miami Lakes, Hialeah Gardens, toda la área del norte eh, tiene, eh, desafortunadamente, tiene eh, uno de los, de, los, de los rates más grandes de desempleo en la nación entera. So, eso es algo bien importante porque tenemos que reabrir la, la, la economía, porque el desempleo en nuestra comunidad eh, está muy, muy alto. Eh, está tan alto, más, más alto que, que, que en ninguna otra parte de los Estados Unidos. Hey, Miami Lakers, if you don't have any questions, I know we're going to be wrapping up in the next uh, 30 seconds to, to, to a minute. Mr. Manager, do you have any closing uh, remarks for our residents? No, just to follow up that, uh, as the mayor said, we, Miami-Dade County, in addition to Broward and Palm Beach, were left out of the first phase of the state's reopening of the uh, businesses, right? So, but I believe that probably within a week or so, we'll be uh, getting to that stage where we'll, we'll be ready to reopen our businesses. So have faith, continue doing what you're doing because the numbers in Miami Lakes are incredibly uh, good. We've been able to almost stop it uh, completely here in Miami Lakes. So we should be ready very soon. Uh, hopefully it's right around the corner and we'll be able to get at least the very first phase of the reopening going. Yeah, and we're seeing, and the manager talked about it earlier, City Hall opened up today, uh, which is so, so important. And I think it's a, it's a sign of, uh, of going back to normal, right? It's a, it's a new normal in the short term, but City Hall did reopen uh, today, which is phenomenal. Que la, el ayuntamiento eh, reabrió hoy en nuestra comunidad, que es tan, tan importante, empezar llegando a un punto donde eh, estamos eh, para atrás para normal. Y obviamente es un normal nuevo, pero eh, ya el ayuntamiento reabrió hoy eh, a las 8 de la mañana, que es un, algo tan importante y un símbolo tan importante para nuestra comunidad, a ver eso eh, pasar ya, los parques están abiertos ya están viendo más y más cosas reabrir y, y como dijo el administrador, ojalá que ya para la semana que viene tenemos las regulaciones eh, que, que se ha, reabren eh, la, la economía aquí en, en Miami-Dade County um, so yo sé que eso es algo que estamos trabajando. Miami Lakers, if you don't have any other questions I know we're going to be Logging off now in about 30 seconds. Anything else you want to chime in? Or? No, that's it. I think that uh, we see now light. The light at the end of the tunnel is a positive thing. So keep up the hard work and uh, this too shall end. So the question I'm getting right now, is it City Hall uh, in Miami Lakes or City Hall in, uh, in City of Miami? No, it's uh, Town Hall and it's the Miami Lakes Town Hall, which is uh, on Main Street, just east of uh, Ludlam Road. So that's our town hall. We have been uh, under a virtual town hall. We have been all working remotely from uh, from home. Uh, we had been able to do almost everything that we were able to do before. But today we reopened the front doors to town hall and uh, we're back there. We're trying to continue to, uh, to encourage residents to whatever they can do electronically or over the phone or via an email everything that they can do remotely to continue to do and that's for our residents protection as well as our staff's protection but if you need to come to town hall town hall front doors are unlocked thank you mr manager and i know alberto de cardenas he's he's making a good point he says dental offices are open for elective services you want to chime in on that mr manager in, in english and spanish yeah uh, la oficina de los dentistas tan abierto cada dentista establece los requisitos si ellos están haciendo solamente emergencia o también para cuestiones más rutinas 
Eh, so, si usted tiene necesidad, si tiene dolor o si solamente le, le hace falta una limpieza o lo que sea, llame a su dentista para averiguar si tu dentista está abierto ahora. So I don't see any other questions or comments. Miami Lakers, we're hopeful, we're optimistic, uh, we're heading in the right direction, we're doing the right thing, and it's all because of you, all because of your hard work, your efforts, your sacrifices at the end of the day that our community has had to make uh, in the short term. Uh, Dolores Alfonso, Mr. Manager, how many positive cases in the town of Miami Lakes? Dolores, 43 positive cases. We've had that same number for, I think it's like, uh, like We've had that same number for over two weeks. All right, so that's great news. Uh, we have very low numbers, 43 cases in the town of Miami Lakes. So I, I see Barbara Salem, uh, she had just mentioned, and rest in peace, uh, Shula. So the manager and I were talking about this earlier today, what Don Shula uh, meant to our community. I mean, not only did he live here between the 70s and 80s, right? Some of the greatest years for the Miami Dolphins. Uh, I wish we could turn back the clock, right, and see some of those championships. But what he meant to our town was amazing. The, the brand, the Miami Lakes brand, with the Shula brand, go hand in hand. I mean, anywhere you go, you talk about the Shula Steakhouse, the hotel, uh, you talk about Shula's too, just Shula in general, it is always Miami Lakes. So uh, we lost one of the greats in, uh, in our society, the, the most winningest coach in NFL history, somebody who loved this community dearly, dearly and left uh, a lasting impact in, in the town of Miami Lakes forever because those two, the brand town of Miami Lakes and the brand Shula, they're intertwined uh, forever. So, Mr. Manager, anything you want to chime in on, on Don Shula? No, I mean, obviously it's a tragic day, but uh, he enjoyed an incredible life. Uh, he has an incredible family. He leaves quite a legacy, not only, more importantly, at home than on the football field, but uh, you can't argue he's got to be uh, recognized as the greatest coach in the history of the NFL. And in fact, because of that, uh, we, we actually lowered our uh, flags to half uh, staff today in his honor. He's, uh, he's more than just a former Miami Lakes resident. He's, uh, he's really an American icon. So, as the administrator, it's a day triste because he died, the coach Don Shula, the best coach in the history of the football American football. And someone who lived here in Miami Lakes in the most important years of the Miami Dolphins, the 70s and the 80s, which were the most incredible years of the franchise Miami Dolphins. But at the same time, when you talk about de Don Shula y habla de la ciudad de Miami Lakes, eh, los dos para siempre van a estar juntos. Porque tú entras por aquí, por nuestra comunidad, la primera cosa que ves cuando te bajas de, de la 154, eh, viniendo del de sur, eh, tú ves a uh, Shula's. Shula's Golf Course, eh, el, el course de, de golf aquí en nuestra comunidad, el restaurante, el hotel, todo. So, he did a lot for, for our community. Lo que dijo el, el administrador, que también, tú puedes ver que era tremendo eh, padre, esposo y, y vivió una vida tan, tan bonita. Un ejemplo perfecto para ¿sabes? las generaciones que vienen sí. también. Eh, so, Miami Lakers, again, we're hopeful, we're optimistic. Uh, we see the light at the end of the tunnel, we're moving forward, and it's all due to the sacrifices that you all have made uh, in the short term. Hopefully, we get back to normal as soon as possible because you guys uh, deserve it so much, and because of your sacrifices, we've gotten to this point that the curve is uh, effectively uh, flattened here in our community. So, thank you, Miami Lakers. Reach out to us if you need us from the manager, myself, the entire council, our staff, volunteers. We are here for you, and together we will get through this. Take care, Miami Lakers. God bless.